greetings in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, and welcome to a time of guided meditation called Visio Divina, or Divine Viewing. The invitation in this time is to look at the art on the screens and to use it as a vehicle to encounter God's presence in your own life. You aren't asked to figure out what the art means or to be a critic. This isn't a time for you to judge or to contemplate, nor is this a time for you to be asked or forced to think about something in particular. Instead, this is a way for you to encounter the living God here in this space. So as we go through this time, I invite you to begin first by paying attention to your breathing. Let's practice. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. As we continue to go through this time, continue to pay attention to your breathing. If you find that it becomes shallow or you've stopped noticing it, just pause, take a moment, breathe in and breathe out. As you listen to the scripture, listen for a word or phrase that helps you connect to the image and to God. Hold on to it. Let its presence in your mind take over. Don't worry about what it means or how it will affect you. Simply hold it in your mind and trust that God is speaking to you through it. Now we'll take a few moments to pause and prepare ourselves. Must Jesus bear the cross alone, and all the world go free? No, there's a cross for everyone, and there's a cross for me. The consecrated cross I'll bear, till death shall set me free, and then go home my crown to wear, for there's a crown for me. Amen.
Hear these words from Philippians chapter 2, verses 3 through 11. As you hear them, pay attention to a word or phrase that sticks out to you. When it does, hold on to it. Let it work its way through your mind and into your heart. Don't do anything for selfish purposes, but with humility think of others as better than yourselves. Instead of each person watching out for their own good, watch out for what is better for others. Adopt the attitude that was in Christ Jesus. Though he was in the form of God, he did not consider being equal with God something to exploit, but he emptied himself by taking the form of a slave and by becoming like human beings. When he found himself in the form of a human, he humbled himself by becoming obedient to the point of death, even death on a cross. Therefore God highly honored him and gave him a name above all names so that at the name of Jesus, everyone in heaven, on earth, and under the earth might bow, and every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord, to the glory of God the Father. Turn your mind and imagination now to the visual, the art in front of you. Center yourself by taking a deep breath and relaxing your body as best you can. Allow your shoulders to lower away from your ears. Let your arms rest in your lap and let your feet be fully supported by the floor. Feel the weight of your body held by your seat. Spend this time in quiet. Open yourself up to God's voice. Take a deep breath in and out. Continue breathing deeply as you look at the image. In this moment, simply notice the visual qualities of what you see. Colors, line, shape, form, space, and texture.
Now take a deeper look. What parts of the image are your eyes most drawn to? What parts of the image did you quickly brush by or overlook? Let's engage our imaginations. Imagine that you are immersed in this art. What do you see? Where do you fit into the beautiful picture before you? Take a moment now to observe your own emotions. How does this image make you feel? placed ourselves with Christ through the artwork that we have viewed. Hear again today's scripture. This time, as you hear it read, focus on the artwork. Let it guide you as we hear once again these words from Philippians. Don't do anything for selfish purposes. But with humility, think of others as better than yourselves. Instead of each person watching out for their own good, watch out for what is better for others. Adopt the attitude that was in Christ Jesus. Though he was in the form of God, he did not consider being equal with God something to exploit. But he emptied himself by taking the form of a slave and by becoming like human beings. When he found himself in the form of a human, 
he humbled himself by becoming obedient to the point of death, even death on a cross. Therefore God highly honored him and gave him a name above all names, so that at the name of Jesus everyone in heaven, on earth, and under the earth might bow, and every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. Join me now in praying our closing prayer. This week, it is a prayer of confession. Let us pray. God of grace, you ask us to care for the poor and the hungry, but that makes us uncomfortable. You ask us to care for the environment, but that requires sacrifice. You ask us to love our neighbor as ourselves, but that requires vulnerability. Instead, we hide our hands, avert our eyes, and choose ourselves. Forgive us for holding tight to our own agendas and letting go of your call to love. Cultivate in us more faithful spirits, hearts that are willing to choose one another, and minds that are focused enough to make the sound. Ever grateful, we pray. Amen.